Yeah, uh, I, I can't say I, I haven't been asked that uh, in every room I've been in today. Uh, unfortunately, I only had two suits in my, uh, I just moved into my apartment or whatever, so I only had two suits in my apartment. I only had uh, the crimson of the house too. And I, I had talked to my mom the day before and, and uh, we both decided I'd just wear crimson today. What's the reaction? Um, I'm pretty sure uh, Alabama fans like it, so that's what I'm rooting for. Um, I, I'm very excited. Uh, it's, it's been a while since I've been in a, a real game like situation, so I'm looking forward for the first game, but we got to get through fall camp first. Now that you've had some time to separate yourself from the season, I mean, what did you take from watching games this time to make sure you were able to Um, I learned a lot of things sitting on the sideline that I wouldn't normally learn on the field. I mean, uh, it's a different perspective of watching on the sideline than it is on the field because everything is so much faster. And you see a lot of things that you don't see on film. So being able to sit on the sideline, I learned a lot of things that, that I wouldn't have learned. Um, I was uh, talking to uh, Coach Smart on the sideline. I learned a couple of things from him. And then, uh, again, with Rolando and guys like that. So I learned a lot from sitting on the sidelines this year. Anything stick out specifically? Um, not really. Just uh, certain tendencies of what, what, what the offenses do in certain situations. and. How, how they how they see our defense and what what they try to do to man, manipulate what we do. I mean, you pretty much have a big leadership role coming up this year. I mean, how are you approaching handling that? Um, I'm approaching it hands on. Um, I mean, it's expected of me, and I expect it of myself to uh, be one of the one of the guys that my teammates look up to when challenged with adversity, whether it be on the field or off the field. So I'm looking forward to stepping up and being one of those uh, one of those leaders on the defense this year. Um, personally, I haven't really been contacted by any agents or financial advisors, but uh, a couple of guys that do, they usually just uh, turn it into Coach Saban or uh, just turn it into one of the coaches and let them handle it. You feel like the education process at QA is good enough to tell the player what's going on and not leave you confused? Can you, can you, can you repeat yeah. that? Yeah, I feel like it is. Um, we uh, we we all we all sit down and we talk to our coaches or whatever, and then we uh, they have a couple of classes for us to uh, to learn about uh, learn about that. And I feel like the best way to go about the agent situation would be to just just wait till the end of the year and to just just decide it at one time. Players, people talk about choices, right choices, wrong choices. If Marcel was sitting right there, what would you tell him about his choice? Just that he has, he has to he's he's a lot smarter than that and uh you know Marcel's a, he's a, he's a good guy he's a smart guy but he just has to make better decisions and better choices. Dante, do you have any reservations physically or mentally that you're 100 and not limited in any way? I, f I feel like I'm I feel like I can play in a game I'm I'm ready to play um as far as the mental aspect go of my knee um and during the spring I was kind of babying it a little bit but I mean that I mean that's over I'm ready to go I'm 100 percent physically and mentally there's been a lot of starters on defense like like y'all are put even more emphasis I guess on the guys that are returning is that the pressure that you can break it is and it's something I it's something I look forward to and I feel like that's a motivation for me and and the defense as well I mean having having people say that we're not going to be as good as we were or whatever but we don't, we don't really have the size we had last year, but we have a lot of speed, t uh, talent, athleticism. I feel like we're going to be just as good as we were last year. So the cover's not bare? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dante, if, if Marcel can't go, uh, who do you guys look up to, to step up and kind of fill that, that definition? Um, I mean, there's, there's been a, there's a couple of guys who's, who stepped up. Uh, one of those guys got injured uh, last year in the Florida International game. One of those guys is uh, Damian Square. I mean, he's, he's a great guy, uh, probably one of, the, one of the better pass rushers on the team. Uh, and there's another guy who was a uh, redshirt last year, Darrington Cinnamore. He's a, he's, a real good, he's a real good athlete. He kind of reminds me of uh, Marcel. I mean, he's a big guy. He can move. He's got a, a real good engine. So 
I'm sure one of those guys would step up if Marcel had to miss a game. Um, at the time, I thought it was dirty, but after watching film, um, I mean, it was a clean block. Um, that was just just poor decisions by me. Uh, I had talked we after it happened. I talked to Coach Saban, and and uh, one of the things that I kind of realized that I that I was doing that I that I didn't know I was doing. I was kind of just playing off pure athleticism and not doing it by technique. If I would have done it by technique, I would have been able to shed the cut block and make the play with no problem. But uh, that's one of the things I've been working on in the spring since I've been back was uh, more on technique and not off pure athleticism. John, as an ABC and MCC challenge, your team obviously has some experience with that. What's your take as far as what that game means to the rest of the season? Um, I feel like that that's – I mean, it's a big game. I feel like that's, that's, that could be a turning point either way, either way the game went. Um, it, it just, I think what it does, it just kind of, it kind of sets and tells you that, I mean, that the team, that your team is ready. Um, I mean, it, it, it arose to, uh, to when this was, when it was supposed to. It's just, um, I mean, just, just the feeling that, I mean, that you won your first game and that, uh, that your team's chemistry is there. I mean, the coaches are there. Everybody knows what to do. It's just the fact that you got to do it for another, for, I mean, for the rest of the season.